Hello, I'd like to talk a little bit about the SQL Server data tools for business intelligence. Um, I've had to make a, several videos about this because people are very confused. And um, the reason for that is Microsoft made something called the SQL Server data tools. And they also made something called the SQL Server data tools for business intelligence. You can see here that these are two different installations. The first one provides tools that allow you to uh, work with SQL Server right from Visual Studio. And the second one, the BI one, allows you to do kind of the same, but it's working with SQL Server um, to develop business intelligence. It's not doing things like select statements or managing databases. So the two are complementary, but they're certainly not the same. In this case, I want to talk about the business intelligence. So the first thing to know is make sure that you get the correct version of this as a 2015, as a 2013. And um, it all depends on which installation of Visual Studio you have. If you've installed 2015, you want to use that one. If you installed 2013, you want to use that one. If you haven't installed Visual Studio 2012, uh, 13 or 15, it will install it for you. If it's already there, it'll just plug in these data tools. Visual Studio acts as a shell. And as such, if the shell's there, the data tools just plug into the shell. Now, downloading is pretty simple. There are several pages where you can uh, access the download. Uh, each page looks a little bit different and can be confusing. This one here is um, ID 42313. So I don't know how long they'll keep that post up there, but hopefully for a while. Hitting the download button, we'll start the download. Uh, it's a gigabyte of download. It, depending on your speed, could take a little bit of time. Once it's downloaded, you'll have this file, and you can right-click and run it as an administrator. Now, this is not where I want to install it. This is just where I want to uh, extract it. I'm using a solid-state drive. So I'm going to extract it on my solid state drive, but I want to install it on my larger hard drive. It's slower, but it has more room. Okay, and now it starts up. And this is confusing too. It says SQL Server 2014 setup. It is not going to install SQL Server. It is actually just using the, the dialog windows for that installation process. So I'm just going to go ahead and leave it as it is. And when you get to here, you'll have a choice of adding features to an existing SQL Server 2014 installation or performing a new installation of SQL Server. This is confusing. You would think that you'd be adding features, but no, you leave it on perform new installation and say next. Accept the terms and then you'll finally get a chance to, to choose what you're going to install. And as you can see it's not installing SQL Server itself. You say next and you let it cook for a bit. Now when it pauses like this it will do so for quite a while. It's actually doing something in the background just let it do its thing. Uh, some people will think it's done and go to click the button down here to say OK and actually start the cancellation. It's not the end of the world, but um, you don't you just want to let it set. <coughs> now I've paused the video so it took a while for it to do its thing, but eventually you'll end up with this screen and um, it will to show you that certain files are locked right now and you need to restart the computer. You want to definitely do that. Um, so say OK at this point. Let it finish up. And then just close this and restart your computer. And at that point, you should have 
uh, the data tools installed. You'll be able to test them by going through opening up uh, Visual Studio's 2012 data tools <coughs> and um, in the start menu you'll be able to see under file new project you'll see the business intelligence section where you can go ahead and start making business intelligence projects so that will indicate that the installation has completed but um, again don't ignore the restart I'm going to go ahead and shut down the video of course and restart myself hopefully you found this video useful